Fox. Like, it's not oh, much true. better. <laughs> Tilde Spacey's my bad. But I don't, I, like, I feel like Falco generally does the best into a lot of the FGC reps, with yeah. the exception of maybe Terry, who is the most well-rounded of the four. Yeah. Kazuya is so high risk, so uh, high reward kind of character, bec and because of that lack of mo general mobility, especially vertical mobility, yeah. it can be hard to catch Falco. Oh. Yeah, no. Ka oh, okay, Kazuya is what some people say is like the best one because of like there's so many ways they can get the zero zero to death, and just does so much damage. And you see right here, oh, living right there, just by like a percent or two off. I have to be very, very careful, especially with some of these vertical options as the, the late hit of Heaven's Door ends up uh, setting up for uh, anti-airy Tilde away. But man, like Axiom is throwing just about everything in the kitchen sink, that drop zone back air. Yeah. Right, even if you're playing a... You, you would have thought that auto turn around, man. <laughs> yeah, hey, it, sometimes you get, you get a little bit of that Smash Fundamentals mixed in, trying to give Tilde a tech check. Going for the Flash Tornado, it's both of them are holding their jabs forward. The, the Flash Punch combo isn't going to do it. Okay. Second time over, still not. As this is full Rage Drive on for Kazuya, but still able to yeah. tech it. Yet okay. the wings. Yeah, the combo's now ending for here. And Rage should be off of Kazuya right now. Oh no, there's probably a bit more. Oh, I really like that mix-up attempt there. And the parry into Electric, a quick 40 off of two hits. And look at the pushback. Yeah, from Electric. Oh, man. Yeah. He is bleeding. Yeah, got the Flash Tornado and the stall as well. Was he good? I wanted the Rising Nair there, there from Tilde. Give it a little bit more coverage. Yeah. Still, okay, but yeah. He, caught, he caught him being greedy with the down air. And Tilde manages to get the first dog. Oh, man. This is so scary. <laughs> and... Uh, what is that, up smash? No, it's the dragon uppercut, just oh. throwing it out. It can be kind of, uh, it can come out sometimes when you're mixing up with uh, Electric Wind Godfist, but hey, Axiom going for it right there as a means of an anti air and it working out like a charm. Yeah, this is not looking good if you're Tilde. You, you see Tilde now playing more defensive, but it is probably a bit too late for that right now. Uh, you kind of have to push forward here in a best of three. You can't afford to be too patient and play with games as that up smash comes out as well from Axiom. Both up smash and, oh, and the, le the leg sweep into the left hook. As Axiom going to close out the edge guard oh. with the tombstone crusher. There it goes. As that invincibility on that Kazuya standing Mishima. down tilt. Let's Kazuya Mishima take yeah. game one. And this character... He's a menace. He's a menace. <laughs> he is a literal demon. And this tombstone crusher on a ledge, if we can get a look at that. Like Axiom already with the, once again, the call out on the rising aerial. But this move right here is so good as I'm gonna, I'm gonna take yeah. control over here, d uh, production, don't oh, mind no. me. So minus a couple frames. Yeah. He goes for the Falco Phantasm. But you see Kazuya right here? He's a little flashing. He's an invulnerable man, and this uh, Phantasm was doomed as soon as Tilde went for the option to begin yeah. with. And it's cool because it covered the neutral getup, which Tilde was doing a bit there too. So it covered two options in one. Yeah, it's... Kazuya can just be so... is, and not even can be, is so threatening in just about every situation that the reliability just comes with how well are... how good are you at not interacting? And some of these buttons yeah. with their invulnerability can make it very hard to try and get a lead to feel comfortable not interacting in the first place. Yeah. I'm, oh, oh my hello. gosh. The quadruple yeah. spin kick? You don't see that one too much. Yeah. And I know, Tilde, you're a man of your morals, but you got to get rid of them right now. <laughs> <laughs> no no more morals. We're, we're moral today. We, we, we don't talk to men in suits right here. <laughs> okay, remove those maidens yeah. and get ready. Oh, that was oh sick! The, the spacing. Jump, the jump backwards, the auto spacing on that. Uh, what would that be? It would be the seven tilt. The jump backwards from it and into the dragon uppercut. Like, Axiom is... He's using everything that Kazuya, not, yeah. this isn't just e Electric Wind Godfist Turbo. Oh, but Falco down air has been doing it for a good long time, and that keeps things even and keeps things, it keeps a win condition on Tilde's plate. How consistently can Tilde find these edge guards? Yeah. What? 
what can he do to like end Kazuya's percent at such a reasonable front? Like below 100, all three percents would be ideal. But man, just one hit, it looks so scary. Every time Tilda gets hit and Axiom gets an opening. If there's any weakness in Axiom's play at the moment, it's not finding the starter, it's sometimes finding the proper extenders. He's looking for the and he's looking for a lot of these low percent uh, spiking hitbox of Nairs and just not getting the right hit. And unfortunately, that can mean he's losing a ton of damage, but you also don't need a ton of damage in order to close out the stock as Dragon Uppercut once more. Oh! What was he looking for? He was looking for he, game. He was looking for game, yeah. <laughs> So we can see a finisher, the anti-air with the up tilt. And Axiom hasn't touched ground, doesn't have a jump, and yeah. the down smash will do it. Yeah, the kick in the back of the face. Oh, I like that air dodge straight through, throwing off Axiom just a little bit. As Kazuya, some, his auto turnaround isn't as quick as some of his other FGC counterparts. Ooh, oh. up air landing? All right. All right, getting back throw, trying to set this off till day. Okay. Okay. I, I do like the reset to like, allows him to like, just choose another option. And now you see him back at center stage, or like, able to just fight out a bit more. And till day trying to be extraordinarily careful. Yeah, because this is their winner side bracket. This is two out of three, guys. Oh, the command dash almost breaking through, but the second hit of up tilt does get him by. This game getting more and more even just by the second. Lasers and uh, movement is the name of Tilde's game at the moment. Just yeah. trying to walk on through. And I'm getting more and more scared. Okay. Oh, great punish on the on the laser. The up becomes out of shield, but not going to be able to take the stock on the high ceiling. Yeah. Tilde fans gasping in their chairs. What the, what are they going to do? Has to be very careful. More and more lasers coming out. That was risky as they go for that up air. A frame four potential escape option. Oh, and it That's switches it. into the heavens. Yeah, no way are you surviving that. The Rage Drive comes online just in time, and the Heaven's Door leads Axiom into a top eight qualifier. Yep. So guaranteed ninth right there for Axiom. And Tilde, like, going into these FGC characters with Falco. So looking really tough. I know at Collision they did fight Riddles. That looked tough. Yeah. And here, fighting Axiom, just like... a. Look, poor die roll, one would say, or these FGC characters. They're just dice roll characters, man. If there's anything I can say for Tilde's play, because they did have a lot, of course, you know, Tilde, we see the combo master, and we see some of their extensions with these platforms really good. I just wanted them to edge guard with Nair a little bit more, linger a little bit further yeah. off stage. Like, Kazuya has basically one or two recovery routes, and both are very susceptible to a lot of these trades or straight out uh, wins that you can get with Falco's Nair, which it does have a little bit of intangibility on the wings. Yeah, you got to